hello youtube welcome back to my channel this is director kim i hope you're doing good i hope you're doing okay yeah 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 man as i told you before you go see me over and over do not worry about it so today we're going to discuss about the epic tutorials beautiful tutorials which we're going to discuss about the plugins these powerful plugins most of colorless they love to use it one of the things that i like from them is just very simple uh, it's very fast to use and if you are struggling to make a better look so like yeah you're doing a lot and process but you find out your grading is mad it's not there there you want this to be this plugins is going to help you one of our thing that's uh, another thing that's alive from these plugins is just giving you a firm look that you can't find it by your own you see now so yeah but a worst thing about this plug is it's using a lot of a CPU, but so you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you don't have, you can do even in one clip and you can export the loot so that you can use over and over without making a CPU running out of, uh, you know, memory. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Another thing that I want to tell you, do not skip this tutorial because it's going to be very helpful. When I tell you helpful, which means every detail that I'm going to explain to you is going to be helpful. So you have to listen careful. Another thing that I realized, most of people watching tutorial, they do not make any practicals. If you're watching tutorials and you do not practice it, it could be worse to you. So if you want the plugins, you can comment down below. You can get the, these plugins at any time. So now let's jump in into our tutorial and let's see how the magic of this plugin is going to do for you okay now we are in davinci resolve and this is our footage you now we're going to process with these plugins and you're going to see the advantage of these plugins most of time most of time when i struggle about color i do my twist and tweak and i realize that man this thing i can't do it for my own i need a help so where i can find the help i go to the fame more, uh, sorry, I mean most powerful plugins. You know, let me tell you this. In on Instagram, I used to contact a colorist, a pro colorist. One of the pro colorists that I found on Instagram is TG Morris Colorist, and I managed to talk to him and ask him a few questions about color grading. His bit of a technique. I don't. I, I know he can't tell me everything about him, but. One of the things that's explained to me is about this uh, heavy plugin that he, he always liked to use. And I was like, okay, how can I do it? So I have to find it and I bought the plugins and I saw it's working nice on me. So that's why until today I found out this plug, I can use it. So let me show you how exactly you can use the plug. As I told you, if you want this plug, you can contact me and I will give it to you. Okay, this is red footage. It's a Nadia song from, uh, uh, he's, she's from South Africa, I think. Uh, yeah, the video is out. You can go and watch the video, the grade and comment there and tell me how the grade it will look. So, first plug that we're going to discuss is uh, what we call it, Color Lab. Color Lab, they come in with these plugins, they call it Flea Lob. Yes, so we're going to start with the Flea Lob. One of the things that it do, it convert your, your color into Reg 709. You see, I just drag and drop, but it's too slowly. As I told you before, these plugins, it's very heavy plugins. So you're going to find my what what is crushing, but you will not worry about it. Oh, it's going to give it slow. But one of our things that you have to do is uh, you have to buy a graphic card and have a better CPU. Unfortunately, I don't have that one. Okay, you're going, you, I got, I got tell you in an information about the color, the, about the color space, what camera light was using. So this was, it was red. So you can choose red, uh, DV red wag, wag gamut. If it doesn't look good, you can find another any camera profile. But I think this is Red Legacy Dragon Leg Look Film. This one is working nice, but yeah, let's see before and after. 
like this and like this. So it's give us uh, the color space. Like maybe I can try this one and reduce a, uh, I mean, reduce highlights and let's see how it can do. I will try to drag it down. Yeah, it give us better nice Rex 709 confessions. Most of pro colorists, they love using this to convert uh, their footage into Rex 709. It's working very perfect. You can use this instead of using our color space transformation. Okay, let's skip there. Let's go to another plugins. This one is very easy to use. It doesn't have a lot of stuff. Sometimes you can use what they call it. Um, there are something they call it uh, X01. Unfortunately, I don't have X01 to my plugin, so I have to find another uh, flail up here. So I have to find that and give it to you. This plugin is a free plugin. You can go to their website. I'll put a link below and you can go and download the it and they give you uh, serial numbers and give you the lessons and do whatever you want okay let me jump to another plugin which is the look designer look designer is one of color lab plugins even that flea uh, flea lab they from a look designer so it's they have a share the same company so you can go there and also download this one this one have a lot of stuff in it. Let me show you one of the stuff that I love using in here. The first uh, color, color science. You can use the color science that they use like ready, log, what's, what's as before. Maybe this one, log, uh, legacy, but this one is just, you can use this, uh, the one that we used before and you can choose a Rex of another oddity, but you can choose any color sense that you want in there. But I love using Rex 79 by Ari Aretza. Rex 79 by Ari Aretza, it's very beautiful, yeah. I don't like the Rex 79 from oddities, like, yeah, the normal stuff. So one other thing, that's another thing that I like is this uh, limitation, uh, gamut limit. You can limit your gamut if you see it doesn't, it's crushing. Another thing that I like is plating light. You know the plating like like it's like what we call it. It's like uh, you control temperature, but it's different. If you see a a lot of color inside of a picture, you can control it. Let me show you an example. So I'm going to my left, or no, I mean I'm going to my gain and reduce the gain because I see it's very. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's a very, uh, I'm going to balance my picture and also I'm going to push the saturation until these spots. So yeah, it's very beautiful plugins, trust me. And also it have a frame codex stuff. You can go there and choose your frame stocks like codec, this one, this one, any codec that you want. You can go here and choose a contrast frame like codec this one yeah this this plugin is very beautiful you can just go back and control in your you see i have touched a few stuff i have touched a few stuff but degrading now it's looking very mwah. i like using that word <laughs> all right so you can control anything from here so the thing that i want to show i love using it much it's have uh what we call it first color also it have a first color from here you can analyze you can do your saturation but i i mean you can control your exposure by clicking this part tonal mopping you can see how it's mopping through our caving also you can see the saturation how the picture is saturated you can come here and get perfect saturation just like a pro you see around these parts we have a very nice saturation but if we about we increase a lot up to a lot i mean a lot of saturation like yeah we we it's go outside of this box which means our color is over saturation so you can see the saturation how it's over and you know how it's balanced so i can just bring the saturation down until there there we have a nice saturation Trust me, it's a very beautiful plugin. It's a very beautiful plug. Now we have a better 
saturation but in today's picture i just want a very tiny saturation not too much somewhere around there you see now the grading i never did even so much but the grading is coming okay let's go to uh to the parts as i told you about this part so you can control your stuff if you see you have uh, so much uh, red i mean this part sorry i yeah pr printer light if you have so much red yeah you can come and reduce it something like this you have so much green you want to green you can balance your picture just like that you see you see you can balance your picture just like that and also you can create a look so you have to tweak and twist until you get a perfect position so if i go bypass this and this you see before and after the bypassing stuff you see the way before it was magenta the pictures on magenta but right now the picture is balanced this is this is why i love look design so you can use these plugins it's okay okay another plugin i know you can see cinema grading into the screen but this one i know about talk about it because you know about it already so now we are going to discuss about my beautiful blog is very 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 important to me i love using this plugin more than the other plugin that's for sure this is called film confession film conversion if i want cinematic look sometimes i use the answer pro but the answer pro is taking a lot of my cpu and i can't afford it because my computer is slow down so that's why i found this a beautiful plug they call it uh film conversions one other thing you can go and choose a camera this was red and yeah you can choose a red dragon a red what what but but this was a red dragon so I'm going to choose any rogue film that I want. Maybe I want this one. Again, I can apply, you see. Maybe I'll, I'll just try and choose another. Maybe I think, let me try the beauty one. Like, yeah, this like dragon color, this one. Yeah, it's working nice. It give me very cinematic. It's have a film grains. Yeah, but before I do so, I just take off the film grains and you can choose any code that you want. You can come here and choose any credit that you want but i love the first one it's giving me very nice and yeah perfect so i'm going to my my black points and i love reducing my black and pushing my mid tone somewhere around here and my whites uh put it around here so this is what i i love him when i'm using this bracket then I go back to the first node just like this part and I'm creating a saturation but the picture it's very nice thanks very much for watching this video I hope you understand about this plugin so if you want from the start if you want to do a better color grading and you struggling you know like you struggling to do your color grading you can use these plugins it's very helpful it's not like putting dead giving everything you have to twist and tweak some stuff but this is for the starter you see you see how the magic it does so i can go to right here choose any what's what i want like here here choose any film print that's a one like this one or this one and balance and this and this and tweaking this and this but everything looks very perfect thanks very much again see you on next tutorial uh if you never subscribe this channel please subscribe my youtube channel it's going to be very helpful see you